Hey there Zelda fans, Amanda Van Heil here with the Zelda Universe for another episode of Zelda Weekly. Tears of the Kingdom will officially be here in less than two months. So let's take a look at the different pre-order bonuses being offered by various retailers. First up, GameStop here in the US is offering a wooden plaque as a pre-order bonus. It does have to be picked up in person, so if you pre-ordered from GameStop online, you'll just need to print out a copy of your confirmation and bring that with you to the store in order to get the wooden plaque. Both Walmart Canada and EB Games Australia are giving out a Tears of the Kingdom branded luggage tag. GameStop Canada is giving out a pin set as their pre-order bonus. Pre-ordering from a store that I just looked up how to pronounce because I don't know French called E. Leclerc will include a very nice looking notebook. GameStop Ireland and JB Hi-Fi are including a metal coin with their pre-orders. And finally, Nintendo UK and Nintendo Store Ireland have a few different pre-order bonuses and bundles. The standard bonus is the metal coin and a luggage tag, and then there are a couple of other bundles which cost more. One includes a notebook, another has a collector's medal, which is different from the collector's coin, and then there's also a bundle that has both the medal and the notebook. And then the standard pre-order bonuses are also included, which would be the, the luggage tag and the coin. You know what game is really cute? Tunic. You know what game is really hard? Also Tunic. The Zelda S game has been out for about a year in digital form, and the developers have announced a physical copy is on the way this summer for both the Switch and PS4, and it's available for pre-order. Best of all, it's not just the game. It'll also come with sticker sheets, an instruction booklet, overworld and dungeon map, controls and concepts booklet, and soundtrack download. It's all priced at $45, which is a pretty good deal. It's honestly worth it just for the instruction book and the map. If you've played it, you know how much of a godsend that would be. Plus it's from Fangamer and pretty much all of their merch is really good quality. Speaking of Fangamer and also Tunic for that matter, they recently released a Tunic Fox plush, which sold out pretty quickly. However, a restock is planned and you can input your email address to get notifications on when it's back in stock. I put my email in because as you can clearly see, there's nothing I need more than more plushies. All right, so last time I asked you guys what kind of Zelda party you would have if you were partying in the Zelda universe, and here's what you said. AJ Thomas says, if I want to have a party in the world of Zelda, a Castletown festival would be a perfect way to have fun and drinks while celebrating my belated birthday and maybe do Daruk's friendly rock eating contest against Leek. Yudel says, I would love a Christmas party at Hateno Village, going around sipping hot cocoa, looking at the shops, booths filled with Christmas goodies, and watching all of the little kids running around having fun. Well, that sounds super sweet, I love it. Uh, Ryan Butt says, if you're gonna throw a party, you might as well go all out and host a rave in the Majora's Mask final boss room on the moon. That simply could not be topped. You could even pre-game at the milk bar and crash Anju and Cafe's wedding reception afterward. You know, you've got it all planned out pretty well. And I would gladly pre-game at the milk bar as long as I can get something that doesn't have dairy in it. <laughs> and finally, Rex the Sheep says, only one party worth attending. Windmill rave! Ooh, that'd be a fun party. I've never even been to a rave, but that sounds like fun. All right, so how would I party? Okay, so I would say that I would wanna go like and get drinks in Gerudo Town, but then like all of the Vo that I'm friends with and family with would have to like wear a disguise. So maybe it'd just be me and the Vi slash girls that I, I know, we'll all go pregame and then pool party at the Zora's Domain because, well, I love swimming. So I'm currently on a playthrough of Majora's Mask. So the question I have for you guys is, what is your favorite mask and why? All right, everybody. Well, that is it for this episode of Zelda Weekly. My name is Amanda Van Heil, Zelda Universe. You can make sure to follow us on our Twitch channel, Zelda Universe TV, and I'll see you guys next week.